to the final data source, first click on data and then data objects and integrations and then new. Uh, for this example, we're going to use shoes as a name and then leave everything the way it is, then submit. Once you hit submit, the screen should load up and you can now begin to populate your data source. For this example, we're going to add at least three different fields um, of three different types. Uh, first field being the description field, um, we're going to call this one trainers. Second field, uh, we're going to call this one size and we're going to give it a type of pick list. And the last field, we're going to call this one price and we're going to give it a type of currency. Configure pick list, hit the gear icon, and then you can now begin to enter your choices. For this example, I'm going to use 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Once you've done that, hit save, go into records. Here you can now begin to add records into your data source if you'd like. Once you finish adding records into your data source, you can now hit save, go back and see a fully configured system of record.